Hello, beautiful people. It's Johnny from WP Johnny here today out in DC. I'm at a WeWork, a WeWork co-working space. So today's topic is Sendy. If you guys don't know, Sendy is a self-hosted email software that you install on your own server or on your own web hosting. And from there, you log into it and you run all your typical email marketing functions. So things that you used to do at MailChimp or MailerLite or Aweber, ActiveCampaign, et cetera, et cetera, those things, Sendy can do it all just the same. Uh, you get in there, you have your emails, your, your email list, you add subscribers, remove subscribers, or you're cleaning the list, um, getting rid of people who complain or, or their emails bouncing, or maybe they're just not opening your emails, you can get rid of them. Um, you can run autoresponders, so for like new subscribers, or maybe uh, every year or on their birthday, you send them like a message or a discount or, a, or some kind of funnel where you funnel them through a discount and get them to buy stuff. Um, you can also look at reports to see who opened your email or not. Uh, what else can we do? There's list segmentation, so you can have your email list, but then segments of your email list, so like you know maybe you have a clothing store and the segment would be like men's clothing versus women's clothing uh, things like that uh so what's the big deal about sendy like what why why are people um why are people talking about this so much the big thing with sendy is that it's installed on your server and then it uses amazon ses to send out emails which is so much cheaper than mail or light so or so much cheaper than MailChimp. So for example, MailChimp, if you have 10,000 emails, uh, 10,000 subscribers, it costs $75 a month. Um, with Sendy, you just pay for the software one time. Right now it's $69, back a few years, it used to be $39, $49. It's a one-time cost of $69. But MailChimp will cost you $75 a month, every month, whether you use it or not. Uh, now let's say you did MailChimp's uh, pay pay as you go plan it would cost two hundred dollars to send ten thousand emails sendy would cost only one dollar to send ten thousand emails so what sendy does is it runs a software on your wherever you install it on your server and then it uses amazon ses uh, it's like a white label email service to send out the emails and amazon ses is really really cheap it's as you can see it only costs a dollar per ten thousand emails that you send so what you're really looking at is a massive cost savings. I mean, you would, if you're paying, you know, $75 a month over a year, that's like, you know, $700 already. You know, I don't know, maybe if you get the annual plan, it's a discount. But still, after two, three years, you're saving a couple thousand dollars. So, and if you have more than 10,000 subscribers, then you're looking at a massive cost savings. The only two things, the two biggest friction points about Sendy, I would say, is um, is how hard is it to set up because you have to install it onto your server, and also can it really like replace your current email service? Um, so we'll go through it. Uh, how hard is it to set up? You can set it up on basically any server that will run WordPress can run can run Sendy. You just need a Linux server, which is pretty much every uh, server, web server out there. You need PHP, you need MySQL. Very common, um, see, just like WordPress, almost all hosting companies support them. You can follow the free setup guide. If you're tech savvy enough, It's I think it's pretty easy to follow the instructions. If you're not, you can hire somebody else to do it for you, or I think they might even have like a Sendy installation service. But it's really easy um, for a first time, for AD, AWS first time users, yeah, you gotta go in there and dig out the API key and all that, it can, it can feel a little bit scary. Now, um, so let, that's it, the setup is really not all that hard. Whoa, what happened here? Okay, so guys, I'm still here. I guess I gotta move around, the motion sensors went off. So here, I had a, uh, somebody was very kind enough to share me his Sendy setup, so that I would, didn't have to buy it to test it for you guys. So this is going to answer the second part of the question, the second question, which is, can Sendy's features be enough to replace MailChimp? So first off, uh, let's go create a list. So I'm going to create a new list and I'm going to call this <laughs> Pyramid Scheme. Add it there and then you add people manually or you can just import through a CSV. So I'm just going to add manually, giant new year, and I'm going to do, uh, how about this, yeah? Put my own darn email in there. 
okay there you go um, and then there's housekeeping there's a blacklist I can make rules um, you know so I guess this will be the auto responder kind of like your email uh, your email software rules like if such and such does this on subscribe or on campaign sent or so there's rules and triggers um, create a new template so let's go create an email template design I think this is probably like the 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 first area of sending that needs to be addressed so I'm gonna just call this basic um, if you're the kind of email marketer that likes to send plain text emails I think you should jump on sendy ASAP you're gonna save so much money uh, you really should just jump on sendy but if you want fancy like email designs then you're gonna have to hand code it yourself like HTML code it yourself or go on Google and search like uh, email HTML like responsive template something something like that right custom HTML see and then you go in here or as you can see I've already looked it up you can buy some but really there are so many free ones that you can just download um, you can just download it and then what you do is you're gonna copy paste their HTML code right into here and then you'll have the fancy design then you save the template so you can keep reusing it now I'm just gonna uh, just leave it like this and hello and then down here I'm just gonna put a signature something right and then it's a link I'm just gonna save it like that and go to new campaign and just like that you can start off with the fresh email or you can use a, a template so there you go boom um, you put in the to and from uh, if there's a query string you would like so that what it shows up in your Google Analytics you can do something like that uh, and then there's some like just basic tags like you know their name it's like a short code right so if you put their name here in the template then it'll automatically replace it with their name and then you hit save and next and, you, and then you hit send and boom it sends out I've already tried it it works beautifully it works great um, and then you can go to reports and then you can see like who opened so this was an earlier one that I did and you know it showed like who opened and who clicked and what bounds what who, and who marked as spam uh, I, how many marked as spam I don't think it shows who marked as spam so bottom line is I think it's totally worth it if you have simple enough email design uses um, or if you have a complicated email and you don't mind like getting the HTML code for it uh, these were the best use cases I found um, you'll save a ton of money if you have lots of subscribers or send tons of emails and there are some pretty big blogs out there that are using Sendy very happily and saving money um, but if you need complex email functions like autoresponder and segmentation and just certain ways of working with it and you feel like Sendy's limitations because it, as you can see it's not as pretty and and certain things is it's not as like detailed um, to, to do segmentations and all that um, how do I do this here okay well I'm not gonna do that right now you guys can play oh here you go create a new segment based on so I think it's I think it's pretty solid but just make sure you know I'm not a Sendy expert and I haven't been using it um, I'm happy right now with my mailer light plan I think it's I'm paying like 35 bucks a month I don't know that I want to go through all the hassle of setting everything up in Sendy to save a couple hundred bucks a year um, but I'm right on that borderline if I had if I had like 20,000 subscribers I think I might do it I might make that jump other than that Sendy's great it integrates with Z Zapier and you know all those it's been around for so long there's there's plenty of uh, third-party integrations for it right with many popular apps and all that so you can have all your automation set up so let's say when people buy from your WooCommerce store they get automatically added to your Sendy email subscriber list so overall two thumbs up great software I can see why it's been hyped up for many years and actually even though you're paying a one-time fee uh, oh okay so now you got to pay for upgrades and but you don't but you don't you don't have to upgrade it very often I mean it's they're upkeeping it and I'm sure they're gonna add new features over time but Long story thing, long story short, I think it has all the essential emailing features that you need. I love how fast it is to get things done. Um, with MailerLite or MailChimp, man, I have to like click confirm, I have to go through 10 pages, and every page is like five seconds to load. So I love how fast it is, and it works great. The emails got through, it got through the spam filters, and this whole system was super easy to use. I didn't have to read any documentation. 
this was my first time using it and I figured it out in two minutes. I actually didn't figure out anything. I just looked at it and understood how it worked right away. Now, I just want to give a big shout out to Jaime Santiago who gave me access to his system um, to use. And this is his business. He runs mypizzashot.website where basically if you're a pizza store, you can, instead of building your own site and figuring out how to do the ordering system, you can go get their managed websites from here and uh, excuse this, uh, I don't know if the, if the internet here is running a little slow or if it's his site, but not bad, not bad at all. It'll, it'll set everything up for you. Uh, they'll also do the advertising. Um, was there anything else I needed to say? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like the moment I stop this video, I'm gonna kick myself and I really don't wanna record this again. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth doing. If you have any comments, you have any feedback, please uh, leave it in, you know, leave it in the video comments or the article comments. So I'll, I'll, po I'll make this official post out there, but I enjoyed it. See you guys next time.